and welcome back I'm going to share with you my shame uh, from the last video I didn't run my tests I did not run my test before I committed um, I was looking at my hierarchy my folder structure and I have large pizza sometimes I will keep all these in one file so I have just like a large pizza pile with all these classes in it they'll probably get moved there but then this makes no sense as a uh, directory structure meh meh potato potato um not terribly important but what I, well, I mean it is very important file structure hugely important um <clears throat> not terribly important at the moment i look at my large pizza and look at this it's grayed out large pizza is never used well that seems strange one reference yeah it's just right here um so i looked at uh medium pizza <laughs> got usages and apparently because of how I modified the namespace my test never got updated let's go ahead and run those that's why I use big R because I did it badly I'm just doing a uh, test only fixed namespace for the large pizza. Uh, and this will say generate commit stage. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> go me. Um, I would really like to blame the fact you're three in the morning, but I totally know that was just me screwing up, so. Okay, let's look at where was I? <clears throat> Things like pizza toppings. I have some to do. Let's go to my task list. Test every case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lots of testing and stuff. Uh, we still have primitive session. That that is not primitive session. All right. Here we go. Let's just kick this out. Oh, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just going to commit topping. Um, this is a comment. Well. Remove fixed. It'll remove a fixed primitive session comment. All right. <clears throat> Going through this task list. It's really nice because then you will. Make get not a getter. It's not really a getter anymore, is it? Uh, it's not returning anything. Whew. Definitely made that not a getter. What are you topping? Alrighty. There's another comment. We'll remove fixed. Okay, not getter comment. Gotta clean up that task list. Not uh, what I'm looking to do. Not what I'm looking to do. Does it get set? Does it change? Yes, it does. Alright. Alright. Am I going to fix that right now? Do description overloaded. Uh, I don't think this is accurate anymore. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, we have a description object and a description method. So I'll leave that. <clears throat> huh. Nope, it's okay. Not working on any of those. Four minutes in and I've done nothing. Um Yep, yeah, alright. The pizza price, we got the uh stuff in there okay let's see what the uh, I can do here because really I'm gonna want this as a mozzarella percentage of pizza price now one of the things it just showed me that I didn't even think about <clears throat> is I could 
uh, create a lot of these. So I mentioned um, to jump back. I mentioned how I don't like this. I don't like all the files. Sometimes I stick them all in one file. One thing I could do, you know what, let's go ahead and actually uh, look at that. Undo this. We. I'm going to check Team Explorer, make sure I have no changes pending. What are my changes? Uh, I really thought I committed you. Oh. Yes. I did changes. <clears throat> All right. The dangers of Control Z. Okay. So, one of the things I can do because large pizza. So, what I would do before, let's just go to that, is I would take all of these. And I would put them in the same file. I mean, because really, these are the only place they're used, only place they should get used. Uh, <laughs> but what if, instead of making them out, we did this? I mean, the file still has a lot of reasons to change. All right, I don't like it. Um, so my reason for not liking it um, right. my reason for not liking it. No. Stop it, computer. Oh. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me change this. Yes. Okay. Alright. Um, file changes. If I want, if I had everything within the large pizza, if I wanted to change the amount, then I have to change the large pizza file. So that file is going to get a lot of changes for various reasons. Uh, so you can do some analysis to get to see file changes. The frequency of that file change would go up, which would belie certain, um, which could indicate too much cohe too much coupling. But now by breaking it apart into multiple files, we can see usage amounts only going to change when usage amount changes. So we're going to get very low coupling of changes between files, and that's what we want. We want very low coupling. Um, across classes and files. Files, not something that I've, I've touched on as much in the past, but it's important. Okay. <clears throat> we were creating percentages of pizzas. Um... Right, which is going to be a percentage of pizza price. It's going to inherit from that. And it's going to pass in is 0.1. And ideally not through an exception. We got to go on here. And we don't actually need <clears throat> a value there. And ta-da. So we change this to mushrooms. I'm actually going to pause the video. Um, and just burn through these. So one, it's my really crappy editing. And welcome back with a drawing change. 
I wanted to highlight that uh, all the ones I was doing before, they were all point one, so I could do nice copy and easy paste. Because uh, I'm switching up to meat toppings here as a type, I have to switch it um, to be one five. That's all I really want to call it at this point. And now I'm going to, have to pause again and make some more changes. And with the drawing return, we now have all of our meats uh, set with their own percentage of pizza price. So for the requirements, I like to try and make things change. This is one change. There's a change I don't I don't have uh, that I'm thinking I might want to add. Or the price of toppings varies depending on like location and something. <gasps> location? Oh no, I'm giving it away. Uh, let's run some tests. Perhaps let's also compile. Hmm. I know, overrated. Tests, everything runs, fantastic, and I will shift over so we can see this. Um, we just have a refactor. Uh, this, if applied, this commit will um, abstract percentage of pizza price. Paste this. <clears throat> Still running the stage that one. Neat. Um, get all these topping stuff. Let's stage this. Fake toppings, probably important. It's going to. Just don't want to stage that. I want to kick that into the file. Which we then want to add. And so we save it. Uh, and then. Let's save that. Okay, now we're gonna get rid of those. And this video is running a little on the longer side. Um, but I think the last bit I wanna do <laughs> very similar to that I did to uh the toppings or to the pizzas. Um kick these into their own subdirectory. Uh, because I think that's uh, useful. Oh, toppings is already a thing, isn't it? Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, good. Trying to avoid. <clears throat> trying to avoid namespace and class name issues like I had earlier. There any. Mozzarella goes in. And copy that. Mushroom. Interesting. We'll see if that comes up as an issue. Uh, mushroom is not plural. Mushrooms, as my class name is plural, which is strange. I may have to uh, fix that. <laughs> All of this as well. All right, that's fine. <clears throat> Oops. Many whoops. Um, all of that go in the correct spot. So let me. Um, um, nope, can't drag and drop from over there. <clears throat> uh, 
Gotta get stuff in the right place. <clears throat> now this will indeed create a lot of files and a lot of, and very big name traces. I don't see the problem with that. Uh, a little harder to navigate, yes, agreed. A little harder to track everything, agreed. But for the flexibility and the, it's actually very discoverable. Um, helps the organization. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not gonna have freaking folders full of 100 freaking files. I'm sorry, C++ devs, but that's just dumb. Uh, <clears throat> okay, it's not dumb. It's really annoying though. I have worked a little bit in C++ on my own stuff, nothing professionally. Um, so I understand how it makes it how it makes the build system much much simpler, not have to try and do pathing. But maybe get a better build tool. <clears throat> Again, yeah, I know, not that easy. Okay, this is a. Oh, here for all those get notation feature feature test developer approvable comments. You know, it's all a little R. <clears throat> I have just moved files around. <clears throat> so having just moved files around, I think it's okay. Oh, it's fine. It gets committed. Um, oh, sorry, you couldn't see me clicking around in the uh, in the space. This will move toppings to uh, and spaces. There we go. All right, let's take one more stroll through a couple things. Um, largely task list. A lot of tests I can do in line. So some other refactoring things. Do. Nothing major though. No. Nothing major. Um, yeah, nothing major. So I, th I think we're pretty good. Um, I would be actually comfortable with doing this requirement now. Right, I need to add something to the requirements for the future. So I am going to remember that. Uh, but for now, uh, that's all I have. This, uh, next, wait, wait, wait. I got a pizza here. What's going on? Oh. I'll fix that later. Okay. So until next time. Which for me, I don't know when I'll get to it. But hey, it'll be fun. <laughs>